guys, Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV. Uh, I wanted to basically share a way to add a layer, another dimension to our games, and that's uh, coloring in our um, score sheet. So uh, this was a particularly close game, an exciting game, and you may want to kind of go over and uh, really uh, get more details and analyze uh, what exactly happened and uh, who performed well, who didn't perform well, the opportunities lost, and so on and so forth. So um, for this video, here's the, the key. It's green are the hits, yellow are the walks, uh, red the Ks, brown the ground balls, and blue the fly balls. I use the colored pencils. You can get these at your local supermarket. I have a uh, sharpener, a pencil sharpener, and I can sharpen them quickly. So um, let's start with the hits. And this was not a game with a lot of offense. The final score was two to one. Houston, I believe, had seven hits. I think I, I over, uh, I gave him an extra hit. I, I don't know. We have to see. Um, that's four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven hits. You, you also catch any little mistake that you may have made through this system as well. And it's just a, a cool way to kind of uh, recap the game for yourself. It's very, plus it's very extremely relaxing, by the way. So let's get, there was a couple of hits in the top of the inning. For this game was the Houston Astros versus the Reds. I'm replaying the Reds using Fall Classic Baseball. And um, you got to try that game. A lot of fun, easy to play. Aren't has 100 seasons and a PDF. You can also try it out for free. So here I, so far, have four hits, another hit and a stolen base, and a sacrifice fly. Um, that, that run came in. The first run came in on the top of the fourth. Then we had a couple of hits here to lead off the fifth. There were runners on second and third, but then it was Riho who got three consecutive outs. It was a ground out to first with the infield in, a ball hit right back to the pitcher, and then, of course, a strikeout. And then the last two hits are one in the top of the eighth, a single, and then a leadoff home run in the ninth. That's when Riho was removed from Myers. All right, so that's the green. Uh, we'll do the same down here. For the, in the second inning, it was Davis with a double. He had two doubles, by the way. And uh, then it was Glenn Bragg with a single, but uh, with one out, Davis held up. So that's... Three hits and four hits and five hits. So it was five hits for the for the Reds. So that's the green. So those are all our hits. Next, we probably want to do our walks. All right, a walk is as good as a hit, and this is going to be an important part of the game. Riho has two walks by the third inning. Uh, and then he doesn't walk anybody else for the rest of the game. So he got his control under control. In the uh, Mark Portugal was the pitcher for the Astros, and he walked one in the fourth, and he had another walk in the seventh, and that was it. So he only had two walks. So let's go to the fun part now, the strikeouts. This was a well-pitched game. So he had a strikeout there. He had a couple strikeouts in the third for Riho. Riho was on, right? He was definitely uh, dealing and another one in the fifth. Then he had one in the seventh, actually eighth. And then th uh, this was uh, three strikeouts by uh, Randy Myers, one of the nasty boys, in the ninth inning. Uh, for Portugal, who also had a ton of strikeouts, he had one in the first, two in the second. He had in the fourth, he had four and five, then six and seven. In the fifth, no, in the sixth, and then in the seventh, he had eight, and then nine, and then in the eighth, he had none, and that's it. So he had nine strikeouts on the day. Riho had five, eight strikeouts on the day. And, um, and the next, we're going to do the ground balls and the flyouts. Right, I do the sacrifices or consider ground balls or hit to the pitcher. Ball hit to the shortstop. I do the brown color for that. And a couple of ground outs here. And the fourth. Another ground out here to move a runner over. That was big. Two ground outs. 
with the runners holding in the sixth. And that's it for the Astros hitters. You had a couple, I'm sorry, for the uh, Reds hitters. You had two there. You had a double play, a ground the horn double play. Ground to the second, ground to the third, ground to the second into short in the eighth. And then in the ninth, you had ground to short again. Finally, we're going to do the fly balls or the pop ups, any out in the air. It's going to go for the light blue because that represents the sky, right? It went to the sky. And uh, a sacrifice fly there. That was a big sack fly by Bill Doran. Doran. And uh, next, you have a couple of three outs here in the air in the seventh for Riho. Lead off out in the eighth. And in the bottom for the Reds, you had a couple of outs in the air. One in the third, one in the fourth, one in the sixth, one in the eighth. Foul out to first base, one in the ninth. And that's it. Now one way you can kind of jazz it up a little bit. There you go. And here we'll do the same thing. And this is a colored. Uh, he went 8.1. Gave up uh, six hits only with one run, one earned run, two walks. And we said he had nine strikeouts. Smith. Went point two, gave up a hit, no runs, no hits, no walks, and no strikeouts. And uh, he got a, picked up a save. The win went to Portugal. Rijo went eight innings. Um, oh, wait, Portugal went five. He, he actually gave up four hits. Went. Okay, so uh, Riho gave up a couple of runs, two earned runs, two walks, and he struck out eight, gave up uh, seven runs. Um, and I had corrected uh, Portugal. Portugal only gave up four hits because Smith came in and gave up one. That was five hits for the Reds in this game. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. So you get a good idea of what happened. Myers came in. One inning, no hits, no runs, no earned runs, no walks, three Ks. And that's the game, and that's how I uh, kind of color my score sheets. And as you can see, you can identify patterns and trends and any anomalies, any mistakes, any, you know, um, unusual kind of performances. Oh, I missed a – I noticed that I just missed a, a fly ball right there. All right, so this is Tony Porter, Cards and Dice, coloring your score sheets and why I do it, kind of the approach I take, and the effect it has. It helps you identify, you know, different facets of the game you played, especially if it's a game that you enjoyed. If it's a game that was kind of boring, you may want to skip this altogether. But if you really want to go over a really good performance, you know, or in this case, it was a pretty good performance by both pitchers. There was only 12 hits in the game with only three runs, no errors, a lot of strikeouts. And uh, you can enjoy that that way. So thanks. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe my channel and to um, join Universal Baseball Association and all the other affiliated uh, Facebook groups like Deep Drive Baseball, um, Sports Illustrated Baseball, uh, Back to Basics Baseball, and on and on and on. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care.